Hey everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to remove a player from your DayZ server database. There is a few reasons why you may want to delete a player out of your DayZ database, um, but most of the time it's usually because their player profile has become corrupted in some way and they aren't able to join the server or it's causing the server to crash whenever they join. Another common reason is if you want to wipe a player as like a punishment for duping or you want to just get rid of whatever they have on them, stuff like that. So I am remoted into my server that hosts the DayZ server, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my web browser. And then we're going to go ahead and need to download a program that allows us to modify the database file. And this will be linked in the video description. And we're going to be using DB Browser for SQLite. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll navigate to this page, which will be linked in the video description. And we'll be clicking on download. And then we're just going to go ahead and download the version that corresponds to our system. So I want a standard installer for 64-bit Windows. They'll download and we'll go ahead and run it. And we'll go to the setup just like normal, doing a normal installation of a software. And then I do want it to show up in the program menus, but I don't want that to stop shortcuts. So we'll hit next. And then we'll leave that for now. So and we'll hit next again. And then we'll click install. And then we'll use the admin account to install it. And it's going to go ahead and finish installing and it looks like it's done and we can click finish. So right now, as you can see, I still do have my Daisy servers running. So I'm going to go back into my Mojica manager um, interface. And I'm going to go ahead and shut these down. And you don't have to be using Omega Manager, it's just what I'm currently using to host my servers. Um, just make sure your servers are off when you do this because you don't want to be modifying a database file that is currently being used. So we'll go ahead and shut these both down. Now that they're both off, we can go ahead and modify the database file. So I'm just going to look in my start menu for DB and it should bring it up. And I want the SQLite or the SQLite one. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that open. And then we want to go ahead and open the database. So we'll click on open database. And then we want to navigate to where the database is stored. So we'll go to wherever our DayZ server is. And then this is my Omega Manager folder and we'll go into servers. And then we want to find which server it is. In my case, we're using this one right here, which is number zero. So we'll go in here. And then once you're in the server folder, you're going to go into your MP missions and then select the corresponding mission that's correct for your server. So if you're on Trinaris, you'll use that. If you're on the other one, you'll use that. So Trinaris. And then it should be in the DB folder, or not the DB folder, actually the storage folder. And then there's players.db, so the database file. And we'll click on that and we'll hit open. Again, make sure your server is closed before you do this. And then it just kind of gives us the structure of the database. There's not a whole lot we can actually edit here, but we'll go to browse data. And then it shows the two tables that are in this database. We have the database versions and then the players. We'll go to players. And then once we have players, we'll have a list of all the players that are in your database and then the data that is assigned to them. So first we have to figure out which one is actually the player in question. To do that, we can look at our log files. So I'm going to go back to our servers. And then once I'm in my server zero, which is the one we're using, I'm gonna go into profiles. And now that we're in our profiles folder, we can go ahead and figure out what the ID number is. So there's only one here, we already know that's ours, but we need to actually track that down. Usually the ADM file is a good file to use. However, if we look in that right now, open that up and add them, there's actually nothing here because I haven't joined the server this restart. So I'm gonna to need to go back in my older logs. So that'll be right over here. And then we'll go to one that I know I joined and then so dot ADM we'll drag that in there and then it shows that I had connected and then disconnected and then if we compare these we can see that these are the same so we know that this is my profile that we're looking at here and this is how you can track someone else down and then if we look here there's the data this is all in binary so we can't modify this individually at all we just have to completely delete the player so we go ahead and once we have them highlighted, we can go up here and then we can hit delete the current record. And then now that's gone out of the database, we can go and write changes. Again, you shouldn't be modifying this if the server is in use. And now that that's written, we can close the database and then we can close out of the program. 
And now that we have that, let's go ahead and start our server and make sure that our player has been wiped. Alrighty, and now that we have the Daisy standalone launcher open, we can see our server right here that we're using. So we'll go ahead and join that. And then while that is launching, if you're looking to create your own Daisy server using Omega Manager, I highly recommend the video that I have. It is in the video description and it's also on the top right hand side of your screen right now as well. Alrighty, and it looks like we are able to spawn and we are a fresh character on the coast. So it shows us that it worked and it reinserted us into the database. Um, and if we go ahead and close out of our game, we go here, go back into our server, and we can open the database browser again. And we can open the database. Now you can do this while it's running as long as you don't make changes. So if you just wanted to view it, that's fine. But if you're trying to make changes, you really don't want to do this. Um, oh, and I'm in the wrong folder. So if we open the file, go back to browse, go back to players, we can see it's back in there again. And again, it's a binary um, data type, so we can't actually read what this is, but it recreated their profile and they should be good to go. And that's about it. It's a really simple thing to get set up. If you guys have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And other than that, have a good one.